Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my videos. All right, in the shop today, we have my 2005 Honda Civic and Toby. And the reason it's in the shop today is because it is gonna be getting something that I have been wanting to put on for so long. This makes a night and day difference on the car. And I actually installed this on two of my other cars, on my 2004 STI and my 1999 Honda Civic that I blew up and I don't have anymore. But it is nothing less than a short throw shifter. That's right. This baby's gonna be getting a short throw shifter. And it just overall makes the car more enjoyable. It just feels better. Now back in 2017, my uncle let me drive the, his car around like it was mine. And in that car, I installed a short throw shifter from eBay and it was like 20 bucks. And when I got the Subi, I went ahead and did the same thing, but that ended up being 290. And when we got this Honda, I already knew we were gonna go ahead and install a short throw shifter. So I also went on eBay and found one. This one right here was a hundred bucks. It is called the Revo Technica. I don't know which one I had on the first ever Honda. On the STI we have a Cobb one, but I got this right away when we got the car, but I just haven't put it on the car just yet. I wanted to drive the car without it, feel it, and just overall enjoy it a little because after today the car is never gonna feel the same. Now I also have a shift boot and shift now that we're gonna be installing on the car, but we're not gonna be doing it in this video. And the reason why we're doing this is, in my last video we went ahead and painted some brand new calipers that we got for this car. Check these bad boys out. I'm letting them cure in the sun so they can go ahead and just and just fully dry out. And I got some brake lines on the way too. As soon as they get here, we're gonna install those. I figured since we're gonna be needing to bleed the system, might as well upgrade the brake lines. So this bad boy is also gonna get some new brake lines. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and install our short throw shifter. I will have this link down below for anybody that wants to pick this up. These guys do send some instructions out and you're able to install this on a 01 to 05 Honda Civic and a 02 to 06 RXX. This right here is how the Short throw shifter looks. I went ahead and put a little zip tie here. I don't know why. Right now I'm just playing with it, switching gears and whatnot, but no, I do want to go on a drive before we run out of daylight. So first things first, let's get that center console out. Now there's gonna be one clip in there and one clip on the opposite side. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove that. From there, we're gonna put this little cover off. And you do need to remove the shift knob for this, but luckily your boy doesn't need to really worry about it that much because this isn't really bolted on there, it's just sliding on there. And this boot right here isn't even attached, so again, not even worry about that one bit. But might as well take this out now. Like so. Check that out. That's the old shifter right there. All right, now that we got that cover off, it's gonna reveal these two screws right here. Let's go ahead and remove those. And then in the center console, you're gonna have three screws. I don't know why, but I'm missing two right there. And there is one screw right there though that we're gonna go ahead and remove. And you're gonna come to the back seat and remove these two screws right there. I'm not sure if I need to remove both, but I'm just gonna do them to make sure everything comes apart. And then it's the exact same thing on the other side. And then that center console should come out. Now the cigarette port is still attached, so be careful when you're removing that, but let's try and get this bad boy out. Now that the center console is off and off to the side, we can go ahead and remove the old shifter assembly. To do that, all you're gonna need is a 12 millimeter. There is four bolts holding this whole thing down. But before you do that, you might wanna go ahead and take off these two cotter pins here. You got one here, one there. And then both these cables are good to be removed. Now if you look, there's a bracket there and a bracket here. We don't have that bracket on this shifter, so we're gonna have to remove it and put it here. It's 
So I want to go ahead and try and be as gentle as I can with these two things. From there we have this wire that's connected to the shifter and I think it's pretty cool that they actually included that here too. There's a little hole for you to put that there. Once we do that we should be able to go ahead and take this bad boy on a drive. So let's get it. All right, I got both the shifters right here side by side. The major big difference I think is gonna be an adjustable setting there on like there. There is these like rubber bushings around each corner where the screws that hold this down sit in. I'm guessing that's to help vibration, but these right here is just plastic. That's another thing that I noticed about the new one that we got. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. Those are just some of the things I'm noticing. Obviously the material itself is different. For some reason I feel like this is a better material rather than this. It feels like 3D printed where this feels like they melted it and had a casting for it. Whether the case may be we're still going to be adding this shoulder shifter. So let's go ahead add this bad boy in there and see how she feels. Since we're putting this bad boy back in is one. This thing was sitting like this and not like this so make sure that when you put it back you put it facing that way like this second when you put this left one back in make sure you lock it in place with that being said there is a little spacer that you need to save that lives right here it goes right next to this so it goes where my pink is going right here like I said, it's a spacer and that right there I have over here. I wanted to keep it in a nice area where I wouldn't lose it. So now we can bring it back, set it down there for now. And I also have new Carter pins right here. So let's just go ahead and do everything that we did in reverse. And once it's done, I'll show you guys how it all came out. Alrighty, the new shifter is installed. Now the whole center console still needs to be put back. So I'm going to do that in a bit, but this is how everything looks once it's all put back together. We got that bracket up there inside, latching that cable. And then we got this side all nice and locked up. I went ahead and adjusted it up here. I went ahead and put it in first gear and just let it sit there and rest. And then that's when I went ahead and tightened it. If I lift it up too much or too low, I can feel tension on it when it's in gear. So that's not really what I'm looking for. Again, I just let it sit where it wants to sit and then I tighten it. Went ahead and also put this cable back in there and we're just about ready to put the center console back on here. But just wanted to show you guys again how everything came out. Off the bat though, this thing feels snotchy and I am excited to take this car on a drive. So let's put the center console back on and see how she really feels. All right, I know it's dark out. I was trying to beat the light, but I still wanna tell you and show you guys what I think about this car and how it feels now. This car feels so much better. Let me tell you that right now. I'm gonna enjoy driving this car so much. It feels like a race car now. The shifts are so short, they're so crisp. There is definitely a night and day difference. Alrighty, the Honda is now back in the shop. This car feels so much better. I am so happy we were able to do this mod on this car. I am actually looking forward to doing it on the 350Z because I plan on going all out and getting a baller out short throw shifter. But oh boy, does this make a night and day difference on this car. The old shifter was very wobbly, very flimsy. Every time I would put it in gear, it wouldn't feel like it was in gear. It would have so much play. And now with this one, it's so notchy and so like firm and stiff that every time you're in gear, you feel it going to gear. And that's just what I wanted. I wanted to get to know the car and feel the car better. And with this show throw shifter, we're definitely doing that. Now we are still waiting on the brake line. So next time you guys see me, we're going to be adding a new shift boot to this car so make sure you stay tuned to see that but until then i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys did don't forget to like and subscribe i will have the short throw shifter link down below so make sure you check it out but this is javi from javi's productions peace out my friends